Understanding Eagle-Eyed Zeal, Enhancing Your English Vocabulary. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, Eagle-Eyed Zeal. This phrase might sound a bit complex at first, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Understanding such phrases can really enrich your English learning journey. Let's dive in. The term, eagle-eyed, refers to the ability to see or notice things extremely well, similar to how an eagle has sharp vision. In English, when someone is described as eagle-eyed, it means they have an exceptional attention to detail and can spot even the smallest things that others might miss. This part of the phrase emphasizes keen observation and attention to detail. Now, let's look at the word, zeal. Zeal is all about great energy, enthusiasm, or passion for something. When someone has zeal, they are very eager, devoted, and committed to a cause or activity. It's about having an ardent interest and being energetically involved in something you care about. When we combine these two terms, eagle-eyed zeal, describes a situation where someone not only has a keen eye for detail but is also extremely enthusiastic and passionate about what they are observing or doing. It's about having both the skill of careful observation and the passion to pursue something vigorously. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from professional to personal life, to describe a high level of commitment and attention. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. 1. In a work context, her eagle-eyed zeal in editing ensured that the publication was flawless. 2. In a hobby or interest, his eagle-eyed zeal for birdwatching made him a respected figure among fellow enthusiasts. Eagle-eyed zeal is a powerful phrase that combines sharp observation with passionate enthusiasm. Remember, enriching your vocabulary with such phrases can add color and precision to your English communication. I hope this video helps you understand and use eagle-eyed zeal confidently in your conversations. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.